Greetings, my beautiful lovelies. It's Emmy. How are you? It's great to see you and welcome back to another candy taste test. If you've been with me for a little while or maybe you haven't, maybe you're new, I have been tasting candy for a long time. In fact, this channel really started back when I was living in Japan many, 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 many years ago tasting Japanese candy. So if you haven't seen the old What You Eaten series, you might want to check that out. You can see baby Emmy and me tasting a bunch of Japanese snacks, but not only Japanese snacks, lots of people from all over the world sent me snacks and treats which was so wonderful and educational. I learned so much. I continue to learn so much through food. It's one of my favorite things about doing this for a living is all the things I get to learn tangentially as I taste all kinds of lovely things. So today I'm going to be tasting one of my favorite childhood candies. My kids also love these candies very much. I would say it's probably in their top five candies for sure. And it is. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Sour Patch Kids. These are so great. I ate these as a child. I remember eating them until my mouth <laughs> was kind of raw. That and Captain Crunch. Sour Patch Kids. These are so great. I ate these as a child. I remember eating them until my mouth <laughs> was kind of raw. That and Captain Crunch. Captain Crunch is a breakfast cereal, kids breakfast cereal. Delicious, a little bit salty, very sweet, but very crunchy and it tears up the inside of your mouth. Sour Patch Kids do that for a different reason, I believe. It's because they have citric acid, they're a bit sour, they are sweet, and they are fruity flavored. So as far as fruity flavored candies went, these and Skittles were my favorite. So I just recently learned that there are international flavors of Sour Patch Kids that you can't get here in the States. So I immediately ordered them. I got mine from Galactic Snacks and I will put a link to the website down below. So to get our bearings, I'm going to taste what I consider the classic as a child growing up in the United States. So this is just the basic pack I picked up at a convenience store. Although I have to say the flavors have changed since when I was a child of the 80s and 90s. This was the original combination. Red, orange, yellow, green, which is cherry, orange, lemon and lime. Back in 2013, they introduced blue, blue raspberry, and we have a more complete rainbow. But in my opinion, these two are not as good as these three. So apparently Sour Patch Kids originated way back in the late 1970s, and they were marketed as Mars Men. It's kind of post landing on the moon and space was a big deal. But then in the 1980s, Cabbage Patch Kids were the toy of the time. And so they changed their name to Sour Patch Kids to kind of piggyback on that frenzy. And what makes them great in my opinion, not only do they have that great texture of that chewiness, pulliness, and that kind of granulated sugar on the outside with a little bit of crunch, it's the sourness. They're sweet and very pleasantly sour, which I love. Just talking about them makes me salivate. I kind of never really understood the shape of Sour Patch Kids. So those are the eyes, that's its hair belly and arms and legs. Let's eat them in the color of the rainbow. Red, here we go, it's a Dr. Mouse. Mmm, <laughs> such a great texture. Kind of similar to a gumdrop, but chewier and less sticky. This has a kind of cherry berry flavor that's sweet, but first very sour, but not so sour that you're immediately bleeding. They're not like warheads or anything. Love that. Orange. Oh, I love orange. Fruit slice shaped orange candy wedges. That's what this tastes like. Artificial orange. And that flavor goes really well, in my opinion, with that tangy acidity. Ugh, yellow. <laughs> Lemon. Zing, bright. Same great chewy texture with that granulated sugar crunch on the outside. Citrus flavors, in my opinion, go really, really well with that sour tanginess. This lemon tastes like a lemon drop. Green, lime. Mm hmm So great. I love lime candies. I feel like you don't see lime flavored candies as much as I used to when I was a kid. I feel like there's a lot more green apple these days. Blue. Mm. And that tastes like blue raspberry. It reminds me of childhood memories of going to Kmart and my mom buying me a blue icy. Now, let's try some international flavors. 
Now the ones that I have below actually come from the US and these ones up here come from the UK, Canada, and Australia. And immediately what I notice is that the colors are not as vivid because like the UK, I believe Australia has certain laws about using certain artificial colors and dyes in food. So they're not, the blues in particular are not as vivid, but we'll talk about that later. The first one we're going to try is this one, and these are called Space Kids, kind of similar to the original name of Mars Men. So I think the flavors are combination and also the shapes are different. They also look slightly larger. Whoa, immediately I notice they smell kind of creamy, like milky. Whoa, look, these are way bigger. And you can see the little Sour Patch Guys face a lot better. I love that. Like if we compare that to a US one, look at the difference. Not only in the detail, but the size. Look at that, guys. Thick. Okay, so we have other dudes or dudettes. This looks like a squid, but I think it's supposed to be like a rocket ship. This is a shooting star. These are fatty. We also have a Saturn astronaut as well. So here are our flavors. Strawberry black currant, I'm assuming watermelon lime, pineapple orange, peach cream. Let's just taste. Here we go. It's a Hmm. Mmm. First off, it's very soft and squishy, but the texture is different. It feels more bouncy, a little bit more gummy. Instead of the sticky chew I'm accustomed to for the US version of a Sour Patch Kid, cream flavor tastes kind of like a vanilla and it doesn't taste as sour. Let's try the peach. Mm -mm. Weird, they're hardly sour at all. It definitely tastes like peach. It tastes like a peach ring and the texture is much more like a peach ring than a Sour Patch Kid. Let me compare it. So much more sour and the texture is completely different. This Aussie version is much more bouncier and gummier rather than being sticky and chewy. I won't tell you what I prefer yet. Let's try the orange pineapple. I like the orange. It's a little more subtle. Let's try the other side, which is yellow and pineapple. Hmm. I like that. Nice kind of pineapple flavor, not overpowering. Nice. Much more like a gumdrop. That's what it's like. All right, let's try this one. This is watermelon lime. I'm going to taste the lime separately because I'm familiar with this version of lime. Mm -hmm. Very different, but the flavor of lime is much more subtle than this. This is over the top artificial green lime, with a huge punch of sourness. And this is much more of a natural flavor lime than again, not as sour. Okay, let's try the watermelon and the lime together. I'm actually not a fan of watermelon flavored candies at all because I really dislike that artificial watermelon flavor, but this one's quite nice. This one tastes much more natural, it tastes a lot like a regular watermelon. I actually like that and paired with the lime, it's a great combination. Strawberry black currant. Let's just try it separate because I've never had strawberry. Mmm, great strawberry flavor. And again, it tastes more like jam rather than that strawberry pokey flavor. Okay, black currant which is a flavor you don't find in the States at all, but you find it all over Europe and apparently in Australia. Hmm. Mmm. Very unique flavor for an American palate. I like it. Black currant used to be very popular here in the United States, but it potentially could carry a type of blight or rust that could affect potentially the logging industry. So the United States completely banned black currant and to this day, it is banned in many, many states, including my state of Rhode Island. That was Space Kids. I would say all in all, pretty mm, for me. I wasn't a fan of the cream and I really do miss the big punch of tanginess. So since we tasted watermelon from Australia, let's taste the watermelon from the States. I've seen this at the supermarket and I've actually seen it during Halloween. So there they are, kind of cute, two-toned little watermelon slices, wedges. Let's give that a taste. Mmm, mm, not my favorite at all. Very much that artificial watermelon flavor. But one thing that I noticed that's similar to the Australian watermelon is that these candy pieces are thicker. So you have a bigger kind of bite as you bite into it, but the texture is like the ones that I'm used to. It's more sticky and chewy rather than being kind of fluffy and rubbery. Let's taste these sour cherry blasters and these come from Canada. These are cute. They almost look like Christmas hearts, but they are indeed 
cherries. In terms of size, these look a little bit bigger than the standard size, but in terms of texture, they look more like the American version rather than the Aussie. Let's give them a go. Canadian Sour Patch Kids. Ooh, I don't really like those. <gasps> but again, I'm not a huge fan of cherry flavor. But immediately upon biting them, I thought it was going to be similar to the ones that I am used to. But they're smoother when you bite them, less sticky, slightly thicker, and not as chewy. The flavor is an intense artificial cherry flavor. Kind of similar to those Luden cherry cough drops. If you have one of those, that's what these taste like. With a little bit of an almond extract flavor, which I'm not too keen on. Let's try another Australian one, and these are Max Super Sour. Are they gonna be more sour than the Sour Patch Kids from the US? I hope so. Once again, if we compare the Australian ones to the US ones, we see that the colors are a little bit more muted because certain colors are not allowed. There are three flavors, orange, blackcurrant, lemon, lime, and raspberry. And once again, the Aussie ones seem to be a bit thicker. Alrighty, this one should be raspberry. Let's give that a go. Hmm. The ones they call Max Super Sour are great familiar sourness, not more sour at all. All right, let's try uh, lime. I tried earlier, but let's try it again. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Great. Tastes more natural, in my opinion, than the American one. And again, that sourness goes really well with the flavor of lime. Yellow, lemon. Even though both countries have yellow lemon, they taste very different. The Australian one tastes a little bit more natural and almost tastes like it has a bit of lemon oil in it, while the US version tastes like a lemon lollipop, just over the top fake. And blackcurrant, I taste it already, so I won't be tasting that again. And orange, let's give that a go. Mm -hmm. The orange is much subtler, tastes a little bit more natural, as opposed to the kind of orange Fanta flavor of the US version. Yes, I like the Max Super Sours. I feel like it has the right amount of sour for me. Nice and tangy, it gives you that nice kind of puckeriness, and the flavors are quite nice as well. I particularly prefer the raspberry over the blue raspberry. Of the citrus flavors, I'm quite biased towards the citrus flavors that I grew up with because it's nostalgic, but still very nice. These are Sour Pitch Kids Strawberry. And like the cherry, these are two-toned. Oh, and these have a little bit of detailing on them. They almost look more like a raspberry. Alrighty, let's give those a taste. Oh! Whoa! These are more like the cherry blasters in texture as well. See inside? It's a lot more slippery and are bigger. They're not as chewy or bouncy. They're much more like a gumdrop in texture. More of a something to bite through. Not as fluffy as the Australian ones. And these don't seem very sour. And in terms of flavor, they taste like strawberry. Actually quite similar to the strawberry flavor that I tried in one of the Aussie mix packs. A little subtler than a strawberry pokey, for example. Let's try these next. Peach. Never had a peach one before. Look at those. These have the coloring of a peach ring. There's some pinkish reddish marbling in the orange. Let's give these a go. Don't smell like much. All right. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. Very strong artificial flavor of peach, which isn't my personal favorite. They taste just like peach rings with a little extra sourness. These taste more sour than the strawberry. These are from Australia. These are called Kids Mega Duos, two flavors in one. These are the big dudes. There are only three flavors. Watermelon and lime, which I had already because I was in the other pack. Raspberry lemonade and pineapple and blue raspberry and orange. Since I've tasted these flavors individually, let's taste them all together and see if they taste any different. Mm. This is blue raspberry orange. I think it works. The flavors are much more subtle. So it's not like you have a big clash. Tasting the orange first and then the raspberry, which is much more subtle than the blue raspberry that we have here in the States. So this is a classic example of size being overrated. These are twice as big as the original and I think it doesn't make them twice as good. There's just too much candy to eat, and there's something about the kind of snackability of a smaller size snack. Let's try the raspberry lemon. This time I'm just gonna bite it. Took it half and half. Mm-hmm, that's a much more manageable bite. 
these are not bad but i think i prefer having my sour patch kids be individually flavored rather than having this mixy mixy next individual flavor grape oh look at this i just noticed that these individual fruit flavors like these aren't very sour because it says new not so sour i don't want them to be not so sour i like the sourness these look like little clusters of grapes appreciate the detail let's give those a go mm. it's just a gumdrop flavor's not bad it's a little bit concordy grapey but more than anything it tastes like cough syrup not one of my favorite kinds of things and for me sour patch kids are wonderful for their big sourness and the not so sour aspect of these that i just noticed is not appealing to me this is my last australian pack and these are sour patch kids scuba no artificial flavors or colors immediately i love the stars they're so cute and looks like a fish of some kind turtles and we have the little sour patch kids too oh i love the turtle cute is this some sort of crab Oh, octopus and fish and there's a dolphin shape. Okay, what flavor is here? Mango peach, I already tried pineapple, I already tried blue raspberry, cherry cola and mango peach. Let's eat a pink star. This one's supposed to be mango peach. Mm. Hey, I tasted peach first. I'm like, there's no mango, but there's mango in there. Much more natural flavor. It tastes a little bit like those mango nectars. Have you ever had one of those? Um, bit thicker, taller when you bite into it, but a little bit chewy, not as floofy, less gun droppy, but again, I want them to be more sour. I think it's a seahorse. All right, let's give that a go. Cherry cola, but it, it looks purple. Hmm, that tastes more cherry to me. It does not taste like cherry cola. It tastes more like that cherry blaster flavor that I had earlier. Cherry, a little bit of almond extract, I don't really taste the cola part too much. Not the like quintessential cherry cola that I think of when I think of kind of cola gummies and cherry. Definitely more cherry than cola. Tower Patch Kids Scuba, really love the shapes. Still a little bit too thick for my fancy and I want them to be more sour. Alrighty, my lovelies. My gut is officially busted with how <laughs> many Sour Patch Kids I have eaten. And in conclusion, I have to say, like with so many nostalgic foods, that the original, even without the blue, even more original, was my favorite. It's what I remember eating, it's what I continue to enjoy eating, and that's how it goes often when you have foods associated with memories or a certain time of your life. Isn't that wonderful? I love the power that food can do that. It can take you back to a very specific time in your life just by the scent, the flavor, or the sight of it. It's pretty amazing. Alrighty, my lovelies. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that one. I hope you learned something. Please share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media, like this video, subscribe, and I shall see you in the next one. Toodaloo, take care. Oh my gosh, I don't think I can eat Sour Patch Kids 